guys, welcome to the pixellab.net. Today I'm going to talk to you about the display tag. And there's actually quite a few ways to use it besides the obvious, so I'm going to walk you through that real quick. So let's uh, go ahead and right click on an object, go to Cinema 4D Tags, go to the display tag. So one of the best ways to use this is um, kind of like you would use opacity in After Effects, right? So this is the visibility. If we click that on, it's at 100%. Now if we go ahead and uh, scroll this down to zero, you'll see that uh, my computer will kind of pop off. So the computer is not visible at all. And then if we go to 100%, it'll be 100% visible. And then everything in between is varying degrees of being able to see through it. So let me go ahead and make a render at say 20%. And if I hit render, you're going to notice that it's quite a render hog, actually. It takes a lot of time to render with uh, some of these guys semi-transparent. All right, so I finished the render, and you can see that it is nicely transparent. You can kind of see right through it. So that's a way that you can do transparent items if you don't want to go into the material and add transparency there. This is a way that you can do that with complete objects. And then it's also a way that you can have a object off and then the next frame kind of click it all the way on and it'll just appear. All right, so besides visibility, Let's go ahead and look at some of the other things. Let's look at this first one. It's uh, shading mode. And this one actually has some interesting features that uh, you might not have thought about using before. Well, we can change the shading mode for a single object by having this tag. So if this was a really dense one, we can maybe change this one to wireframe or some other kind of shading option, but have everything else stay grout shading or whatever we want. So that's kind of a fast way to, uh, to kind of modify your individual elements if they're taking up too much processor speed. So that's one kind of cool way that you can use that. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And the other thing is in ghosting. Let me go ahead and delete everything except for the computer here. Ghosting, if we go ahead and enable this, ghosting is basically um, going to apply if there's animation on an object. So let's go ahead and move our uh, computer here, make a keyframe, move it 30 frames and then move it over. And now you can kind of see that we're getting that ghosting effect, right? So if we play this, you can see that uh, it's basically a ghost trail showing where the computer's been on previous frames, right? And we can change a lot of these options, like how many frames before and after. Um, for my workflow, I don't really use this too much. Uh, this would be very helpful if you're doing character animation. If you're uh, trying to see what the character's pose was right before the one you're working on, you can kind of see what the before and after poses are. So it can be very helpful. And also if you're you know, maybe animating something along a spline and you want to kind of see the animation before and after it, where it's going, where it's coming from, kind of a cool feature. So that is the display tag and three kind of cool ways that you can use it. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.